welcome to Flemington, home of the Emirates Melbourne Cup. I'm Sarah Peatling and today is a celebration that stops a nation, Emirates Melbourne Cup Day. We'll throw to FTV host Nula to catch up on all the trackside glamour, fashion and entertainment. Now I know you're here as my ambassadors, but do you actually get to enjoy a bit of the day when people like me are stopping trying to talk to you? Yeah, except, except for now. <laughs> yes, no, I'm joking. No, we have, I have a really good time. We, like in the Maya Marquee, it's always pumping. There's a DJ and we have a really good time. There's these mojito cocktails. Oh my God. I haven't tried them. I have, out of control. Hello. <laughs> What's your excuse? Uh, I was up all last night being sick, so I'm, um, yeah, yeah, so I hope I'm not spreading germs around, but if I am, <laughs> suck it up, I've had to do it. Yeah. Looking out at the field today already, all the girls lining up for the heats for my fashions on the field, it's just colour everywhere. I think we're going to see um, lots of mixes and matches, um, nobody's being safe today, that thing I can say. That's it. It's about risk, isn't it? Colours you think maybe they won't go, but I'm going to do it anyway. Absolutely. I was told by my mum that orange and pink should never be seen together, but I am breaking the trend today. So by the looks of things, so is everyone else. I recently had a, had a hankering for a meat pie, and I, you just, oh. you cannot find them anywhere in America. Yeah, I mean, a square one too. I like the square one. Like a four and 20 meat pie. <laughs> and uh, so I miss those, and you know, I obviously miss people and miss, you know, miss being here. So lots of things. Zucchini flowers. We've got zucchini flowers, we've got some lovely croquets there, the little panzerotti, we've got these lovely little piadinas, which are like an, uh, an Italian flatbread, and inside is a salad of blue summer crab, which is just delicate and divine. Oh. And as the day progresses, you know, your, your party mode builds, and so the food needs to get a bit more substantial. So we put out things like beautiful tortellini with a meat filling, oh. we've got a result not coming out some lovely um, chicken salad and then as the day gets towards the end we've got all our big fried food coming out our fried fish and our fried chicken and the potatoes come out i love a bit of color and i think it's such an exciting part of you know of the year not to mention it's an iconic australian event so i love the fact that we're bringing color into the melbourne cup carnival and the french the two french horses which seem to be the winners yeah. uh, so, oh, yeah. Being French, I'm definitely going to bet on that. Uh, well, I was kind of wondering, women get very dressed up at these things. They're looking their best. What is your impression of, of Australian women so far? Unbelievable. <laughs> they, are, they are so... Uh, yes, apart from, from, from being well-dressed, obviously, they are, they are so so good-looking. They, well, they, they seem to make a lot of sport over here. It's a, yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they look very, very... How do you say that? Fit. 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 I couldn't find the word. Thank you very much. Yes, fit. Fit. That's the word. Exactly. Well, now all of our attention turns to Crown Oaks Day featuring special guest Sarah Jessica Parker. For more information or ticketing, contact Ticketmaster or melbournecup.com.